kill William. Ow! Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Reaction to Idiots. I'm an idiot, he's an idiot. And, and so are you. You can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. It's so juicy. And thank you for watching on Patreon and follow us on our Twitter account. Today, we, what's wrong with that guy? Uh, we are reacting to a video. What? We are reacting to Kabadi. Kabadi. Floating hair. Kabadi. Kabadi. Remember when he used to call Kabadi? <laughs> Okay, there we go. Now you're falling back into your old wheelhouse. Yeah, uh, I come out of Hey, hey. Hey, what's a kabaddi with you? What's a come out of you? Hey, come on. Uh, it's called the rules of kabaddi. This is like apparently one of the fastest growing sports in India. So it's a sport. Have you heard of this before? No, I have not. I've never heard of this before. Neither have I. Uh, that's why we're reacting to it. Hey, look at us. <laughs> so it's apparently some unique sport uh, that's uh, getting really popular in India. Kabaddi. I don't know what it is, but. This is so great! Yeah. I like learning new stuff. I love knowing there's some sport I've never heard of that's popular somewhere and I'm living in a hole and not paying attention. I'm not kidding, this is awesome. Here we go. Explains the rules of Kabaddi. Kabaddi is an Indian sport played with two teams of 12 players with seven players taken to the court at any one time. The game is played on a rectangular court that's generally a maximum of 30 meters by Dad? 10 meters. This is a midline that divides the court into two and these are the walk lines, the end lines, the bonus lines, and this is the lobby area. What the? I'll explain what these are shortly. The object of the game is for your team to score more points than the opposing team. To score, a team must send a player, known as a raider, into the opposing half of the court, whilst chanting the word Kabaddi repeatedly. What? A raider must only use one breath, and chant the word Kabaddi repeatedly to show the referee that he is exhaling and not holding his breath. The first goal of the Raider is to reach the ball line. Failure to do this results in the Raider being out and cannot participate in the next part of the game. The second goal of the Raider is to touch as many players as he can and make it back to the midline before he is caught and tackled by the defender. He can do this in several ways. With a hand touch, a toe touch, a kick, or by trying to escape a tackle and reaching for the midline. Like he gets one pack. point for every opposing defender that he touches, so long as he makes it back to the midline, or was repeatedly chanting the word Kabaddi. And any touch defenders are out and cannot participate in the next round of play. Understand so far? Cool, let's continue. The defenders, sometimes known as antis, will try and stop the radio returning to the midline, especially if one of them has been touched. They can use several tactics such as the ankle pull, back pull, front tackle, and forcing him off the court entirely. <laughs> if the defenders manage to stop the Raider returning to his own half of the court, the Raider is out and the defending team gets one point. <laughs> Once a Raider's finished, the opposing team must send out a Raider of their own within Why five seconds or the team will lose a point. So he can't break Got through it? the line? Good, Maybe. because it's about to get a lot more complicated. <laughs> oh, good! Oh, good! When a player is out, he must wait in the sitting block and is temporarily unable to participate in the game. Okay. Once a Raider has been tackled, or a point has been scored, they are allowed to revive one of their own players out of the sitting block to rejoin the team. Like dodgeball. This means That's that ball. every time you score, you can revive one or more of your players back onto the right, field yeah, play. Like the game is played into 20 minute halves, for a combined playing time of 40 minutes. High score <laughs> at the end of time, wins. Kabaddi is the ultimate game of cat and mouse, as the defenders have to be far enough away so that they can't be touched, but also close enough to tackle the Raider should he decide to make a run for it. Huh. This is a highly strategic sport, and there's a few more rules that you'll need to understand before playing or watching a game. For example, the lobby. The lobby is an extended area of play, which is denoted by the yellow areas here. These are only active when a defender has been touched, and gives both the Raider and defender more room to try and score or get the Raider out. Bonus line. As mentioned before, this is the bonus line. If a Raider puts one foot in the bonus line with one foot in the air, he will score one point as long as he makes it back to the midline. However, the bonus line is quite far from the midline and reaching for this line makes it easier for the defender to tackle you. The bonus line is only active when there are six or seven defenders on the court. Wow. Super tackle. If there are three or less defenders on the defending team and they manage to tackle a Raider, 
This is known as a super tackle and scores two points. One point for eliminating the Raider and a bonus point for doing so with three or less defenders. Do or die raid. If a team has two unsuccessful raids, i.e. they score zero both times, the third raid is the do or die raid. Failing to score on the third raid in a row results in the Raider being out. Pursuit. A pursuit is where a defender charges at a retreating Raider with the aim of scoring a quick point off him. This is usually done if the other team is slow to retreat from a raid and the defender is close enough to score a point and make it back to the midline quickly before the other players realise. All out. If in the rare instance a raider gets all the defenders out in one raid, this is known as an all out. The raiding team gets one point per player and an additional two points. All players are revived after an all out. To the uninitiated, Kabaddi seems strange, confusing, even ridiculous. But once you understand the rules, it becomes an interesting sport to watch. If you found this video at all helpful, please like, share with your friends, comment, rate and subscribe. So, I feel like after, remember when we first watched our first cricket video? Yes. And it was American, American trying to understand cricket. Yes. And we were so confused. Yes. That's what I feel like right now. Uh, but, this does look like fun to play. Like, I could see this being really fun to play, because it's like tackle football, plus tag. capture the flag, tag, plus dodgeball, dodge ball, but there's no ball. Uh, it's so a little bit of hockey rules. Yeah, so a bunch of stuff. So it's just that, obviously, it's a completely foreign and, and I concept. Can't, uh, I can't think of another sport where you have to say the name of the sport over and over again. Yeah. That's to that, prove you're exhaling. That's one of the strangest rules. Wow. How wow. old is the sport? Where did it come from? Yeah, is it wow? Is it newer? That's a, what an amazing world. Just yeah. <laughs> I like learning. And like I said, this looks actually quite fun to play. I think I would enjoy playing a game like this. Um, but the fact that it's a, it's an entire sport is crazy. It really is. Uh, that's and and cool. The fact that it's there's a whole world that that knows about this and, and it even it has reminiscences of, of rugby and even wrestling. You know, it's got yeah. it's like this amalgamation of so many different. It just seems like there's things. a lot of parts that you have to understand. Yeah. In order to which, well, like every sport, every sport's that I way. Mean, we used to be the same way with cricket. Like, every sport is that way. like, wait, you could hit it everywhere? What, you could hit exactly. it. You could hit it forward, backward? You could, <laughs> what? what? Any sport, you learn the rules, you appreciate it more. Yeah. Bottom line. If you weren't from America and you had never heard of American football, you'd be like, what is one, going on? Why is it called football? Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's in their hands all the time. <laughs> so, and, and why is why is it worth six points and then a kick is worth one? Yeah, point? and what? if you're a rugby player, you're going, why are these wimps wearing all that protection? <laughs> Come on, guys. Seriously, okay. you can't hit each other. And so, oh, you gonna wave my arm? Oh. Obviously, that we're not <laughs> dissing the sport at all because oh, not just, at all. We just don't understand uh, a lot of it, but that's because it's kind of complicated. Like the video said, it's, yeah, it's a decently complicated to understand uh, sport. You know, it's a compl uh, another sport that I still don't understand, and it's always been, f it, but it's still really fun to watch. Is Australian rules football? Oh yeah, especially when the guy, you know, they do something and they're running and they kick it or they fist it, and then the 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 referee or the official in white with the hat they, they run over to the spot where the ball went through and they either do one of two things it's either one arm or two arm and they're emphatic they go over and they go Dum -dum -dum, with one arm or they go Dum -dum -dum. <laughs> and it's like yeah i don't know what happened but that looks fun <laughs> so yeah this looks like fun to play uh let's play it when we come to india i'd love to <laughs> well how popular is it in india first of all is yeah. this is this a, a pretty popular sport or is it just gaining popularity or no man it's been around forever and it's never been popular and i i'd love to just watch a game and just listen i'd love to listen to the yeah. guys playing and the officials and the crowd and just feel what is that like yeah uh this isn't like i've never seen this as an olympic sport at all it's, it's so definitely it's like, not an olympic sport. i've never even i've never seen anything like this yeah cricket's wow. not even an olympic sport right and it, it might be I, I think that i saw something about they're talking about Putting cricket as an Olympic sport. Well, if they've got baseball, cricket should be a bit. An Olympic it's baseball sport. an Olympic. Baseball sport. is an Olympic sport. I've never agreed with it. I don't think baseball. Look at base. Look at baseball players and tell me those are Olympians. No, some are, but CC Sabathia on the New York Yankees is a Hall of Fame pitcher. That dude does not have an Olympian body. It, it does not take Olympic effort to yeah. play baseball. Yeah, it's a high level sport. 
but cricket is more a, a sport that I would say qualifies to be Olympic yeah. than baseball. But yeah, that was cool. Let us know if there's other sports as well that we have no idea No idea about. Thing. Yeah, that's because going on. We, we enjoy learning about all these new, like when we le learned about that sport where the people climb on each other for the festival. Yeah. Which was really, to, they hit the thing of the thing of yogurt. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which was really cool. It's the same kind of thing. So we love learning about all these new kinds of sports. Yeah, and even if it's not an organized sport, if there's just something that happens comparable to say like a horseshoe or in New York, we have a version of baseball called stickball. That is just a street game because I know they play street cricket. I assume it's the same rules, uh, but uh, yeah, any anything like that that we can learn more about the culture, bring it on. Yeah, that's great.